hello happy Monday we're going Krogering and I'm sideways again I don't understand I'm opening the thing sideways so I don't know so I have to flip it around when I if I piece it together I'm going to Kroger's spitting and sputtering. I hurried up and got out of the house before Dad came out of his room. Left him a note. I was going to start, I was going to video, but I was chatting with my daughter on video messenger when I left the house, when I escaped. So how's everybody doing this morning? Well, it's actually 20 after 11. And the temperature is 78 degrees, and it rained last night. Ooh. Goes a sheriff. And my car's a spit and sputtering a little bit. Which you can probably tell because my flipping camera's jerking around. Sorry. I have to fix that. jiggling around too much and then you get more of a view this way so what are you all up to this week okay I'm gonna do the tutorial and I'm gonna do the tag if it's the last dang thing I do I have my earrings on that my friend Lisa gave me two years ago for my birthday three two years I think might have been three years ago. Anyway, she gave me two pairs, and there's a smaller pair than this, and they have um, diamond chips on one side, and then they're plain on the other side. So you, I actually got four pairs of earrings, basically, out of two pair of earrings. That's pretty nifty, huh? I just hit a butterfly. I'm so sorry, butterfly. So I watched Donna Great Power 60 this morning, two videos, and then as I was leaving, Mandy said she had another video up and she was talking to me. So I'm going to have to watch that when I get home. I just love it when y'all come with me. I hope you got your seatbelt on. I won't get no ticket. And then I watched Susie. Um, glitzy Granny. She has a, a her husband's niece in law passed away at a, I'm sure, a young age. You know, anything's too young. She was grandma and a mother, and that's sad. She lost her battle with cancer. So, Susie, I'm thinking about you. Keeping you all in my prayers. And Jan, hi, how you doing today, Jan? I gotta get you did some uh, cooking videos. I gotta catch up on. I don't know. You know what? I just might go into the Dollar Tour, the Dollar Tree. Y'all wanna go to Dollar Tree? Are you up for a Dollar Tree trip? Let's see what we can do. Tracy B., oh my gosh, her and Daryl were dancing in the car. That was the cutest video. I loved it. That was so flipping awesome. <laughs> he is so cute. He doesn't want to be on camera, and she just accidentally gets him in there. I'm sure it was an accident. They're a fun couple. I would love to go and meet them. I was watching this Casey guy. I can't pronounce his last name. He's a well-known YouTuber. And he lives in New York. And he rides around on his boogie board through town. And everybody knows him and hollers. And they're like, am I in your video? And anyway, he's going from New York to L.A., 
cross country taking his son to um, college and this adventure he's a very adventurous person he likes to climb and I mean he's been all over the place hiking and mountain climbing and just different stuff and I just really am enjoying his videos um, if you go on my page you can see where I've watched him if you're interested they went to Colorado and um, he actually went into a, a legal marijuana store and was showing um, the marijuana stuff and um, he said it was a very businesslike and professional and he said everybody was really nice in there just like a regular he said it was like an apple store is how he um, described it um, that would be interesting and then I'm watching um, Jack and Ozzy going on their history um, going on their history trip that Ozzy I just love him dearly his family I love the whole family they're just Jack is just so cute and <laughs> last night it's on the history channel um, last night he um, they went to um, a missile or in a bomb place and I think they were in New Mexico where they test the bombs and all that stuff that they build and um, that was interesting the, I mean Jack and Ozzy were talking more about the stuff than the guy that actually worked there but the guy that worked there said that when he was 17 that he went to um, Ozzy's uh, concert in um, Virginia Virginia or West Virginia, one of the two. He said he didn't tell his mom that he went. But, um, he's, and they've been to the Alamo, which, um, you know, Ozzy was supposed to have, um, peed at the Alamo or on the Alamo and supposedly got arrested. Well, he got arrested, but supposedly it's all these years it's been a story that he was arrested for peeing on the Alamo. Um, but anyway, if you kept, if you, you'll have to go watch that show because to see what really happened, what did he pee on the Alamo and get arrested for that? Or did he get arrested for something else? I don't know. I'm not going to do the spoiler alert. I just love them. And I just love Sharon. I um, used to watch her show when she had her talk show and stuff. And I watched, of course, I watched the family uh show that they had the you know where they were following them around the house and all that when Ozzy was all doped up from that doctor get over dosing him with medication um, he's funny he took him anyway last night they went um, he's then after they went to the bomb place they went to um, What's that place where they have all the alien sightings and stuff? Jack's really into that kind of stuff and has followed all that. I keep thinking Oswald. Is that where it's Oswald? Or oh, that was somebody that... Anyway, what is that called? I just watched it last night. Anyway, it was fun. Um, they went. They got to go out to the site where the um, UFO had landed. And um, Jack took his drone and shot it around looking at you know the ground and stuff to see if there was anything they could see and then sometimes when the show is on he'll go on live on Facebook and you can talk to him I actually got to comment on some stuff last night but he didn't read my comments so he was talking about other comments answering questions so anyway I'm here at the Dollar Tree so I'm gonna go in here and uh, see what's going on see what I can get into Hello there. Anywho, I will um, see y'all in a bit. I'm going into the Dollar Tree and then I'm going to Kroger's. I'll all be right. back. It's going on 2 o'clock. I went to the vape store and got in trouble. Andrew saw me smoking his cigarette. So, 
He said, I think you need to get some juice that has higher nicotine in it. There's no reason for you to be buying cigarettes. He's like, did I just see you smoking a cigarette? I was like, yeah. Oh, mercy. Mama. Mercy, mama. So he hooked me up with some other juice that's got more nicotine in it. Oh my gosh, I'm hot, I'm so hot. I've been in all these cool stores that have like major AC on and um, well, I was going to go for it but I don't trust this car so I'm not going to go for it. Um, but yeah, these stores have major AC and then you walk outside and it's like, oh my gosh, it's melting out here Yeah, and I'm probably in trouble when I get home. Oh, well, what's new? Isn't that awful? I'm 55 years old and I'm worried about getting in trouble and being, you know, whatever. I gotta call somebody about this car today, I guess. I don't know. I guess I need to call my brother-in-law and I just heard something go crash. Well, not crash, but something moved in the trunk. Oh, and I spent more money at Kroger's than what I wanted to. I wasn't going to get much. Well, I couldn't. I looked at the meat and stuff, and I just really couldn't find. So I got the flipping hamburger patties that are already made up because, you know, I said I, he likes hamburgers, and I got tomatoes. I mean, I looked at flipping. I don't know. I, who can afford to freaking eat anymore? And then I had to get my pee pads. Those are freaking $12. Quit smoking, I wouldn't be peeing as much when I cough, and I wouldn't be coughing. So, he got on me because I got choked in there in the vape store at Smoker's Cough. He said, Well, you know, thank you, Andrew. Thank you so much because at least you care, you know, and you're taking care of me. I look at these different mods, and I'm like, Oh man, I'm a mod junkie now for these vapor things. I'm always wanting something different. He's like, you don't need that. What you have is just fine. <laughs> so he really saves me money. So I so appreciate that. And he's concerned about my health because he's like, you have got to get a higher nicotine. So you're going to have to get a different juice because that juice only comes with six milligrams of nicotine in it. So he put me up on a 12 milligram. He wanted me to do 16 and I said, no, I don't think I can do that because before it was too much. It was like my chest was it tight and... Um, I don't know, but anyway, bless his heart. Thank you, Andrew, if you ever watch my videos. We were talking, he was asking me about my video channel, YouTube channel, how it was going. And he asks me about my dad, and he said, oh, I forgot to ask you about your Florida trip. How'd that go? And it's like, well, it was good, thanks. So, because sometimes when I go in there, like I went in there the other day and did get juice, um, and he wasn't there, it was his day off. Um, and he takes care of me, so I really so appreciate that from Blue Grass Fate. Yeah, I should have filmed in there. And then there was this other little guy in there I was asking if, because Andrew lives up here by the uh, Cherokee Shopping Center, is what it used to be called, but I don't know if it still is or not, but anyway, he knew what I was talking about. And I said, there's a computer store up there. Do you know anything about that? Because I need to get a, um, I, I need to get a um, protection on my computer because, on my laptop, because I don't have any type of spyware or anything on there and I'm not paying for it. But I don't know what free one to go to. So, you know, you try to talk to people that, um, some little click noise or some little shaking noise it was in my ashtray I guess but anyway um, I know there's free stuff out there but you just you know what I mean if you're not in that world you don't know what to get so he wrote down uh, something for me to, to put he said he's been using it for seven years and it's free so he was a little computer guy. He had a little netbook, netbook that he was using. 
screen was so small though. Well, I don't know. I guess it was the same size as my, my iPad. And then it magnetized. It went had a keyboard. He said just some little cheap Japanese, Chinese thing. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. You know, these tablets are, I don't know if Apple's better because you don't have to worry about any type of, supposedly you can't get viruses and stuff on the iPad, so anyway. Yeah, and I'm so randomly jumping around here, right? There was something that I was thinking about that I had talked about, but I didn't think that I had finished it. Who knows what that was now? And I think it was from like yesterday video or something. Oh man, my elbow's hurting. I need some ibuprofen. I need to get something to eat. So I guess we'll have some salami. I got some hard salami and Swiss cheese. It's fried bread. So I guess that's what we'll have for lunch. And I'm going to get griped at because I need to get on the phone and call somebody about this car. So I guess I'll call my brother-in-law and I need to get in here and clean it out. Wipe it down and clean the windows because it smells like cigarettes. He doesn't gripe about it. My sister doesn't drive it anymore. My sister did. And my mom was like, this is a new smoking car. So she's not around to get on me. But And then dad tells me all the time I can smoke upstairs. Heck no, man. I ain't getting haunted. <laughs> I would get haunted for sure if I smoked upstairs. I used to years ago, and then she finally put her foot down and said, no more smoking upstairs. Which my aunt smoked, which lived in Texas, so she wasn't around much. And then her brother, my Uncle Wilburn, he smoked, but he didn't show up very often either. So I'm the smoker of the family, and um, I smoked upstairs. Wow! Dang! how long that's been down. I am noticing some major trees. And I know I've said that before because there's one right here in this yard that they have yet to cut down that's split from a storm a few weeks ago. I, my gosh, all these trees are falling around here. That's kind of scurry, ain't it? Ooh. Somebody got a muddy mess coming out of there. Cars jerking and shaking my video again. I'm the side of you guys. There we go. Maybe that'll help. I'm a little crooked now, but I, hey, I'm crooked anyway. I'm not crooked as far as being crooked and ripping people off. I'm just crooked. Crooked, crooked. So anyway, I'll just go home and deal with the consequences as what's going on. I need to go buy me a box of, um, contacts. I think they're like 25 bucks. I had a few boxes and I think I ended up like throwing one box away because every one I opened they were folded and I couldn't get them to work in my eye right. It's like this whole batch was but I finally got, I ran across a couple in this other box the other day and um, I got it to stay in so I don't know. I guess they would have been alright but I should have took them back and told them. I will next time. If I run across that again, because my gosh, they're $25 or whatever. That's an awful lot to be throwing in the trash. If you know what I mean. Billy Dean. Used to say, what's the deal, Lucille? That was my mom's name. I used to call her Lucy. What you want, Lucy? Sure do miss her. Sure do miss my Lucy. And I'm sure I'm gonna miss my Mr. Ed. I was daddy's girl for the longest time, and now it's like I just aggravate him. I just aggravate him. Because he's not the same as he used to be. He's older and grumpy, and I'm older and grumpy, and I haven't been the best child anyway, so they had major issues with me as when I was a youngster. I was a young mother, and then I was divorced after three years of marriage. And 
so they've helped me out all my life so what do I have you know I have to turn around and help them out because they've helped me out all my life so that's why I'm doing what I'm doing because they've always been there for me hugging and kissing in the school parking lot back there I don't know when our school starts but that's the elementary school oh good David's still here he's probably ticked off um the elementary school up here I don't know if they've started back to school yet I don't think they do I think next week or maybe I gotta take dad to the eye doctor tomorrow I told you that already okay well we're home we're here oh I'm burning up okie dokie everybody see you on the flip side thanks for going along y'all have a great day bye